So our favorite beta man got banned from Facebook and Instagram. Obviously, he got banned for being a total nutcase, but Facebook, or Meta, I hate that name with a passion, said he was banned for being a dangerous organization and or individual. And I agree with that because he basically runs a cult. His whole brand is convincing a bunch of susceptible people that being a walking douchebag is the right way to live your life. Now, it is also those people's fault for not using common sense, but then again, a lot of them are probably young kids who are really dumb. But I do not think this will help at all. On paper, it sounds good. He'll spread less of his message, in theory. Facebook and Instagram get some brownie points for banning him. And people temporarily forget that Facebook basically ruined a whole country. Real thing, by the way. But Andrew Tate is already banned from Twitter and TikTok. That hasn't stopped people from re-uploading his garbage opinions to push their Hustlers University affiliate link to make $5. If you wanted to actually get rid of him, you'd have to ban his presence. No one could have him on a podcast or re-upload his content. And I don't want any of the social media platforms, especially YouTube, to pull this card. I think that is an extreme decision and in the long run would lead to way more issues than if they never did that. We unfortunately just have to wait for people to realize that his advice is garbage. All right, like and subscribe if you check out more of the content using Instagram now. Follow me on Twitter at Spatons1. Link also in the description. Have a great rest of your day.